Okay, children. So next to uh, the second topic is as we know uh, graphical representation. But uh, about that uh, we will discuss later. Then uh, first of next topic the relationship between zeros and the coefficients. Zeros and coefficients. So before that. Uh, just I want to explain about, as we know, the general form of, form of linear polynomial P of x is equal to ax plus b where a naught equal to 0. Because here, the x power 1, so that's why when the highest power of the given polynomial is 1, then it is called a linear polynomial. Then the general form of quadratic polynomial p of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c where a naught equal to 0. So why we have to take the condition a not equal to 0? Because if you, if you take a is equal to 0, in this place if you substitute 0 into x square plus px plus c, 0 into something is always 0. Means 0 plus bx plus c means bx plus c. Now observe carefully. In this, what is the highest power of variable? 1. So, the quadratic polynomial becomes like linear polynomial. So, that's why always the x square coefficient is not equal to 0. Then, the third general form of cubic polynomial P of x is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d uh, a naught equal to 0. Right. So, these are the linear, quadratic and cubic polynomials. So, in this, we are going to discuss about these two about these two polynomials, quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomials. Just listen here. Right. So, when we are uh, talking about quadratic polynomial, so here some conditions, some formulas are there. See, if the quadratic polynomial polynomial p of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. So when we are finding the zeros of this polynomial you will get two answers, means two zeros. So in this, one zero I am taking as alpha and the second one I am taking as beta. So alpha, beta are the are Greek letters, right? So the first zero I am taking as alpha, second zero I am taking as beta. So if the quadratic polynomial p of x is equal to x square plus bx plus c, then the first condition is sum of zeros. Sum, sum means addition. What are the zeros? Alpha and beta means alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus a by b that is equal to 
epsilon. Minus B by A. Nothing but minus X coefficient by X square coefficient. So, very carefully, while remembering the formula, just you have to keep this one in your mind. Why? If you remember the minus B by A, sometimes I will give the quadratic polynomial as Bx square plus A. So that is wrong. So always the sum of the zeros is equal to minus x coefficient by x square coefficient. So according to this, what we will get? Actually minus a by b we should take. So that's why just this formula you have to remember. Right? So if you remember given, no problem. Right. So this one first one, then second one, the product of zeros, alpha into beta, c by a, that is equal to constant by x square coefficient. So here you have to remember this one. Now, according to this, they will ask problem. Listen carefully how they will ask. So this problem may be sometimes they will give two marks for two marks and sometimes they will give for four marks also. Listen carefully, one problem we will do and uh, Right. So just they will ask like find the zeros of a polynomial p of x is equal to 2x square plus 5x plus 3 and Verify the relationship between between zeros zeros and its coefficient. given problem. Very important. Just uh, listen very carefully and follow uh, the steps uh, which are we are going to do. Right. So, 